What do you do if you're a middle-aged nurse, an empty nester with a broken man picker? You start a YouTube channel and you see that freaking world. Today, we're going to explore Lake Havasu City, Arizona. I'm Catherine. Welcome to This Is Our Life with Catherine and Friends. On this episode, we're exploring Lake Havasu City, Arizona in March of 2021 with my friend Joan. Welcome again. Let's get started. Good morning. Coffee Good morning. time. Coffee time. We are going to go to Lake Havasu and give you a little tour. Right, Kit Kat? Hi. The London Bridge. It's a famous landmark here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. It has some history. I believe it actually came from London and it was actually the London Bridge. Must have brought it on a boat, right? In pieces? Yes. Living in Southern California, people we lived at the beach and people loved to come to Lake Havasu to, instead of hanging at the beach all the time. So that's one place that a lot of local Southern Californias come here. They have houses here. They party here in the summer. They bring their ski boats and they go to the river of the lake. It's a big deal. Yes, we are driving over the actual London Bridge. As you can see, it was bought by the area's founding father, Robert McCullough, for $2,460,000 after the city of London, England put it up for auction in 1968. That's, you're actually taking a survey right now. <laughs> oh my God, no, There's I don't like want to take a survey. 25,000 things going on. Joan jo calls Home Depot and then she's trying to drive and the freaking thing's like, if you're satisfied with the outcome of your call, press one. I'm like, I didn't talk to anyone. Extremely dissatisfied. How likely are you to shop at the Home Depot the next time you need home improvement products? Still talking. Resort. Welcome to the London Bridge Resort in Lake Havasu, Arizona. It's along the side of the London Bridge. It is a cool little resort and it looks over the London Bridge, as you can see from their website at the London Bridge Resort that I'm showing you on the screen now. Restaurants, dining rooms, suite-like rooms is what they say. And um, looks like a fun place to stay. If I had more time, I would have stayed there. Check out their website at londonbridgeresort.com. Oh, I've never been in the front entrance here. Recording, she's recording, we're recording, and there's the London Bridge recording. Yeah. Now this path here, as you can see way down that way, there are people walking. From the bridge here down to Rotary Park is about a mile. So a lot of people who live here, we get our exercise if they want to go for a walk or a run. Right along the um, lake here, right through the channel, there's a walk path. Comes all the way over here to the bridge and beyond. And there's a flight of stairs right um, next to the bridge here that if you want to get a little bit more exercise, you can run up and down them. Lake Havasu is located in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. The lake was formed in 1938 after the Parker Dam was built. As you can see on our walk, there is truly the London Bridge. We drove over it earlier and now you can see it from below. And yes, it was actually from London like I mentioned earlier. Today, Lake Havasu City is one of the most popular vacation destinations in Arizona. It offers recreational activities for families, couples, singles, party goers. Almost anybody can enjoy themselves in Lake Havasu. There's golf courses. You can also soak up the sun on the shores of Lake Havasu's beaches, or you can go to the nearby parks. You can 
ride bikes, you can rent houseboats, you can rent paddle boats, kayaks, jet skis, and all kinds of water toys and water sports equipment. And there's plenty of restaurants, hotels, bars, and action. So what's on our agenda for today, Joan? Bar in a bar in the desert? A bar in the desert. It's cash only, so wherever you go, you should have cash. It's not very good cell service out there. It's about five miles off the road in the middle of the desert. So it is closed in the summertime. It's actually only open till the end of next month. Then it gets too hot. So you'll see, it'll be a fun day. I hear a train. Or a, a boat. boat. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a train? It's a boat on the river. Oh, no trains on the river. So yeah, this is awesome, you guys. If you want to go on a weekend getaway somewhere that's a little different, out in the middle of the desert, but a huge lake, check out Lake Havasu. This looks like a fun little like burger place. Kind of reminds me of Cabo. Have you been to Cabo? Look at their fishing. Right here in the little harbor area. Don't fall in, mister. His pants are falling off. Oh. He's ready to go out on the water. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, well, I was a little slow understanding why she was saying that. <laughs> oh, I just saw the water. <laughs> That's yeah. not bad. <laughs> so this is super cool, you guys. You can stay here at this Kokomo Resort, London Bridge Resort, and um, I think you'll have a lot of good time. Oh, there you go. There she goes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> up in Huntington Beach, I've never been on a surfboard. Never been on a surfboard. Me either. I am totally not a beach girl, even though I lived at the beach <laughs> forever. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Look at that, Joan. Go dance in that cage. Party, party town for sure little party town. Now in the summer this gets really crowded like people out all over on their boats, right? Yeah, you can already see on the um, park side a whole bunch of boats already lined up up there. Lined up, parked over there for the day. They got their spot. They'll be playing their music, dancing on their boats, drinking usually, wading in the water, just really relaxing and enjoying life. And now we are on our way to the desert bar. All right, now we're gonna make a pit stop in Havasu Springs. Pit stop in Havasu Springs. Bloody Mary time. Have a Bloody Mary. Welcome to Havasu Springs Resort. There's a pretty golf course here. Look at that. Is that a golf course? Yeah. They say it's a dry heat, but it's still heat. It's like an oven. Like you can fry an egg. First time I lived in Phoenix, I walked out my front door barefoot, had no clue, because I lived in Huntington Beach for so long, no clue that you cannot step on the cement. Now, remember, I was like 20, so I was dumb. Um, no offense to 20 year olds, but I went out and I went like three steps and my feet got fried. So don't walk barefoot in there, in the desert. Cheers. I forget in the... <laughs> Okay. Why do my arms hurt? <laughs> hey, wait, I gotta get my seatbelt on. Oh, ow. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm like a hundred year old lady sometimes. We are not gonna get pulled over in this parking lot if you don't have your seatbelt on. So. Oh, this is true. Put it on. Alrighty then, what should we talk about? The Bloody Mary was not good. 
just a review. If you want to go there for a Bloody Mary, don't. The, the guy disappeared, the bartender, for a while. So, you know, it was kind of a little chaotic. Maybe people aren't used to working. Well, no, we're in Arizona. They are. You know, they didn't shut down like California did in Oregon. But the Bloody Mary was a little too peppery. Yeah, just was it good. Much, but... Yeah. It was okay, but I've had... Way better. Way, way better. better. She, Joan didn't even... She only she drank like a quarter it. of hers, really. Um, so... Thumbs down on the Bloody Mary. The I'm sorry. The food there is typically good, though. The food there is usually good. Okay. We did not have the food, so I cannot tell you that, but she has in the past, so we'll go with thumbs up on the food, thumbs down on the Bloody Mary. Probably would have been okay to have, like, a glass of Prosecco or something like that. Would have been good. Um, <clears throat> and the atmosphere is nice. People are super friendly. And if you have a boat, you can pull your boat up. There's all docks down there that you can park. So you can pull your boat up, go out, have lunch, go have lunch, hop back in your boat. So that that's definitely a um, perk for and sure. It looks really nice. You can see people sitting on their boats. They were able to order there. They have rooms and suites, four room types to choose from, offering different locations, views, and amenities that will make your Lake Havasu vacation to remember. Um, gorgeous views, pool, and restaurant camping, RV parking, good reviews on here, and there's the map. So they are, their website is havasusprings.com. Arizona. Arizona desert is so much prettier than the California desert. I don't know what it is, but it literally changes from the minute you cross into Arizona. It, you get the red rocks and the high rocks. California desert is just kind of brown. Arizona has a big saguaro cactuses that you don't really see in California desert. In the desert bar, it's through the back of this gas station. What do you mean back way? Why is there? The back road is. Is that what Michael was talking about, maybe? Because yes. my son Michael said you can't get to the bar, desert bar, without like an ATV or something, but apparently you can. But Joan says there's a back that's way. That's the back way. That's right. So that's probably where you're going to go. There. Uh, take their RVs up to the back way. Before, I haven't driven it, and I know part of it was a little bit sketchy for me being an inexperienced off-road in your jeep driver in my jeep she um, buys a jeep but she did forgot to go to jeep school actually they have a jeep school and <laughs> did I they really go to it yeah but i, I thought i was going to trade this in uh -huh. so i didn't want to go to it in this but yeah it's called jeep jamboree and you pay for it and they take you out into whatever kind of terrain you want and they teach you how to use all the parts of your jeep Really? Yep. To go off roading and get yourself out of some sticky situations. That's probably really smart. Or into some sticky situations, yeah. So I think I want well, to do who one knew? In Utah. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? We all know now. Now we know. See how valuable my channel is? <laughs> <laughs> it's very valuable. You learn a lot here. Just wait. Go there. Just make a left hand turn and then we have to go apparently five miles. Like <clears throat> How did they figure this place? <laughs> like, why would they pick some um, five miles off the road? There's a hole you can um, Google it, and it gives you the whole write-up on it. Like, that'd be LA good information. Saloon or something. I don't. I don't remember the actual official name. Recording for it. put on. Joan's a little bit more laid back yeah, than that. Whatever. You know, what is life if you just can't have fun? Right. You can't be serious about everything all the time. Right. You know? This is true. I say that on my crime channel too. I'm like, yeah, it's a serious thing, but if we sat here and just cried about the whole cases that we're following and stuff, then how depressing would life be? Like you yeah. it's like we're nurses, right? So, you know, if you're ever at a hospital and you hear the nurses in the nurses station especially at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whatever, start busting up laughing. It's just part of it. Like, life is heavy when you're at work in an industry where people are sick or hurt or dying or whatever, you know? Yeah. And so it's called 
like mental health to keep a little bit of balance and still be able to laugh at yourself and stuff like that. So I get my mental health from traveling and stupid freaking COVID messed up my life for a year. But that explains her. Her mental health is a little bit rocky right now. <laughs> She's a little unstable. <laughs> She's a little unsettled. A little bit. Just a little bit. Definitely. So on our way in to the desert bar along the bumpy, rocky dirt road, the desert bar, you can look them up at thedesertbar.com. It was called the Nelly E. Saloon Desert Bar. It's situated in the Buckskin Mountains in Parker, Arizona on land that was an old mining camp. The camp was located on a portion of the land that is now the parking lot. When Ken acquired the land in 1975, there was nothing left of the old mining camp. With the land and liquor license from an old business on Least River land, Ken decided to give the bar in the desert idea a try. In 1983, Ken opened for business in the temporary three-sided structure, which is across from the outdoor restrooms. He operated there for the next five years until the current saloon was constructed. The name Nellie E. originates from the old mining club. They used to mine copper and then take it to the smelter and get gold. So you can read this on their website and it explains the whole thing about the bar and it is definitely located five miles off Cienega Springs Road. You exit on Highway 95, approximately five miles north of Parker, Arizona. They're open October through April Saturdays and Sundays only from high noon till 6 p.m. Arizona time. And they are closed in the summer. Michael's like, I, got, I went to call him and he didn't answer and then he called me back and I'm like, I'm in like Havasu at Jones house. He's like, I know. I'm like, how do you know? I go, as a right, he has my location thing on. Oh. He checks my location all the time. Like when I, I didn't tell him I was coming to Huntington Beach last week and he was like, no, what, are you doing here? what are you doing here? I'm like, oh, hi, I forgot, you track me. I used to track them. I guess it's only well, fair, right? They track, <laughs> track me now. He's like, well, you never know. You might have been abducted. I need to know where you are. And I'm like, well, you didn't seem to care that I was all of a sudden in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Like, did you not think I was abducted then? Like, that doesn't count? <laughs> He's like, nah, I figured it'd be worth okay, Joan. That's where it is. It was all over oh! up there already. Oh, I told you we were, I thought we were only a mile in, and you said, yeah. I was guess guesstimating. We were clearly four miles in. <laughs> just guess how far in here it is. Oh, you don't even really know? Oh, okay. Well, I'll I'll dig up the actual statistics on that at some point. They have bathrooms here? Yes. Okay. Well, that's good. My bladder. Parking is going to be the question because I've got all these cars. I've had here. four babies, and my bladder isn't the best bladder that you would ever guess that a young 57-year-old bladder should be. <laughs> It's not bad though. I don't leak. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Nothing leaks. She doesn't leak. No leaks. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, let's be real here. One thing I pride myself on is I'm not fake. I'm real. I don't have fake friends. So if you're a fake friend, you can't hang out with me because just be you. Just do you. Don't let anybody blow out your candle. I'm like being very, um, oh, look at this thing. A buried truck. People that blow out your candle, it doesn't light theirs. So don't let them do that to you because you are special. I've only had one Bloody Mary. <laughs> like getting, I'm like, oh my goodness, so I'm not even drinking today. <laughs> I'm not even drinking. <laughs> one Bloody Mary that I don't think had any alcohol in it, to be honest, and it just yeah. had pepper. Maybe pepper does that to your brain. It makes yeah. you a little. Look at that. Horse and buggy days. 
you can't drink in the parking lot apparently i guess they want people just coming out here like let's go to the bar get a burger and then tailgate with our own booze you know the other thing i remember learning when i w went to training at americwest airlines back in the mil million years ago is they talked about the desert having the gila monsters gila monsters you heard of gila monsters right no nope. yeah gila monsters are um poisonous big lizards i believe yeah so rattlesnakes and gila, mon gila it's spelled with a g like g g i l a i'll look that up so a gila monster is a species of venomous lizard they are native to the southwestern united states and northwestern mexican state of sonora a heavy, typically slow-moving lizard, and it's up to 60 centimeters long. The heel monster is the only venomous lizard native to the United States. The venom is a fairly mild neurotoxin, but the bite is extremely painful, but no one has died, reportedly, from a bite of a heel monster. So, good news. They might take a minute. There might become somebody coming around the other side, but he's definitely leaving. Looks like everyone's going in this direction though, so I should probably follow suit. Don't want to go up or down. Well, or down I up. mean, I've gone that way before, but I'm like, if everyone's going this way, there's well, probably just people coming every, back that way. Just because everyone does it, doesn't mean you have to do it. Would you jump off a bridge just as everyone else did it? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> I'm just saying. That again. Oh, it looks good too. Doesn't just smell good, it looks good. Sure. Do you have any sparkling like no nothing like that? Okay. Oh those girls again! Ten fifty. A little wet, sorry. We have nachos. Tell me about this Had place. We, if we wore better shoes, you know, you could walk up oh. rocks. Now there's a band that's going to start. Here. Yeah, we didn't wear our hiking shoes. That's or probably anything. a big deal. Cheers. The band's going to start now. It's really just a place to come back, hang out, have a few drinks, eat if you get here, or want to wait online for your food. But I mean, it looks like they're serving it pretty quick. Mm -hmm. It's all right. So. We're we're trying to lose weight anyways, you know. Yeah. So starving is not the way to do it. Starving. Is it is because all our fat that we have stored was food we already ate. That's what the guy on the um, intermittent fasting dude says. It's okay. 
Your body stored it on purpose for when there would be a famine so you can live. And we don't have famines in the United States. We Sometimes we have famines of toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, toilet paper, but what are the food, today? not a problem. Back to a bar, sit in the dirt, yep. listen to music. I like it. I don't know I think you could come in on a real car. I people have like oh yeah regular cars. I don't think you, you just have can't to. come the back way. Right. Obviously in a car. Right. Like this it's way, that's why they have the road like that, so people can just come straight in. It's got to be like 80 out. Oh yeah. It's actually it's perfect. It's not too hot. But it's hot, it's warm, it's like it's comfortable. It's smart that they do this during the non-tourist season. You know, it's not too, it's... Winter time, it's busier here. Oh, that's true, birds. that's true. It's Arizona. See, the summertime, it's more of the young kids with right. the boats and the right. younger. Right, now it's like... And this is more for, I mean, you get young kids here, but this is more of the older crowd, like if you saw all down there. It's mostly all our age, adults. Remember I told you, middle-aged people can actually enjoy things that you think are for young people. Yep. There's a lot of people here that look even older than us, and they seem to be having a great time. The band isn't a young band. It's a freaking country music. Yeah, old school rock. Old school rock kind of band, so that makes sense. Bye, my beer got too warm. Did it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, your, her oldest child is graduating and going to go on to medical school, right? Yep, but she's taking her time off, but she's double major. Single mom. Psychology, psychology. Single mom since she yeah. was what? Bianca? Oh gosh, was like, my daughter was in like first grade. She's now graduating college, 22 years old. Went, for, went to college in New York with a scholarship and now going on to medical school. Yeah. So. People can like, whoa, I'm a single mom. I didn't, you know, whatever, but. Yes, and absolutely no help from their dad. Her daughter, both of her daughters have done extremely well. Her son too, but he's younger. This is good light right here with the sun and all this. Oh wait, wrong glasses. That's so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, uh, hi. Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm trying to look the other way, get the, my other direction. I can't see. All right. Now my watch just did something. Lisa, aloha. Are you interested in going on a little getaway next weekend? <laughs> where the hell she want to go now? I ask her. Like, where am I going to go with her? I live three hours away from her. Yeah. A getaway is my house. Jim is going to be like, I'm um, not going to be your weekend baby. <laughs> Room 206 needs you to be here at least half the time. <laughs> I, but you know, your other family should step up a little bit on the weekends. Like take her to their house. I even said, my, my sister, this is my sister. Is she gonna watch this? Um, that's what I said, my sister's like, you busted her out of Hollybrook. I said, leave her there. And I'm like, um, yeah, but you know, everybody was crying about and my kids, and so she hates it there. She hates it, she hates it at my house. Yeah. Okay, so my 83-year-old mother lives in my house, and I busted her out of the assisted living because she said she hated it there. But now she calls me the mean girl. But I think it's good. One drink. We came here. Yeah. It's hot. The line for the food was long. The food smells really good, though. It is really good. It's really good. Okay, so she knows it's good. Food.
super cool. So some place for you to go if you're ever out in the middle of the desert in Arizona near Havasu or Parker. All right, let's try to be more graceful this time. Oh, look. Oh, okay. We're finally getting the hang of it. <laughs> This obviously is the exit. <laughs> it's clearly about the experience because it's a really cool and interesting place that I never heard of before. Now, did you, how did you come here the first time? Just because when you lived here already or when you were visiting? No, I came here visiting. Okay. The Enega Springs End of Nelly Mine Road. Plan ahead, prepare, get maps, check the weather, carry water and drink frequently, use sunscreen, wear a hat, good walking shoes, stay on the trail, the desert is fragile, never go alone, always travel in pairs, yada, yada, yada. Abandoned mines, look, danger, abandoned mines, rotted timbers, open shaft, deadly gas, like toxic chemicals, stay out, stay alive, no fireworks, keep Arizona safe, don't dump in the desert, and apparently in La Paz County, prospectors discovered gold and silver and copper in the Cienega area in 1860. From 1870 to 1929, the area produced over 1.1 million pounds of copper. Several of the copper and gold deposits were economic importance. The value of the metals mined in the area was over 400,000. The Gray Eagle Mine Loop, there's a map, is a popular OHV trail that passes through the dramatic geological formations, volcanic rocks cut by vivid exposures of red sedimentary, sedimentary rock dominate the area. Remnants of mining activities from the last century are frequently seen along the route. This trail offers views of the Gibraltar Mountain Wilderness area to the east and the Colorado River to the rest. Abandoned mines are potential killers, rotted, supported structures, open shafts, loose rocks, deadly gases, lack of oxygen, explosives, and toxic, chem toxic chemicals may be present. Mines are also serve as dens for rattlesnakes, mountain lions, and bats. Enjoy your outdoor adventure, but do not go in the abandoned mine. It doesn't really talk about this restaurant. It's about the area and how there's a lot of abandoned mines, but it says don't go in them because they have, you know, even creatures like to go in them. Like There's rattlesnakes and good sign bats. It's a new primitive road sign for you to get a collision. Oh, that's, so. that's okay. Let's see if I can get us. Not yet, I can't. Oh, yeah. Someone probably drove it out here to get rid of it. Yep. Some, and it's old. It has like 70s kind of look to it or If Johnny's early. Camaro that was dead in my driveway was it? metal or aluminum, steel, whatever. Yeah. I would have left it there. I would have moved it over a little bit. And just left it, it there to just like, like be, rot and be like that. Be like that, yeah. Like rusted and stuff. But it was mostly plastic. Plastic, na yeah, the newer cars. The 90s and 96 mm -hmm. or something, so. So we decided to go ahead and head out and we're going to stop at the Parker Dam. Check that out for a minute and then we will continue on. The Parker Dam is a concrete arch gravity dam that crosses the Colorado River. It's 155 miles downstream of the Hoover Dam. It was built between 1934 and 1938 by the Bureau of Reclamation. It's 320 feet high, 230 feet which are below the riverbed. Check out the sign about the Parker Dam and see what we can learn about it, boys and girls. Roads for Adventure, damn that's deep. Lake Havasu, Parker Dam, Colorado River. Darn right, Parker Dam is the deepest dam in the world. Deepest dam in the world. In fact, what you see is only one quarter of its 320 foot height. The other 235 feet plunge deep into the Colorado River bed. Parker Dam is a monument to men and machines that built it between 1934 and 1938. To quench the thirst of Southern California, the Borough of Reclamation, and the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California created Parker Dam and Lake Havasu. In 1941, water began flowing out of the reservoir through MWD's Colorado River Aqueduct into the Lake Matthews River. 
into Lake Matthews near Riverside. In 1985, Lake Havasu began supplying water for the Bureau of Reclamation, completed at Central Arizona Project, which conveys water 336 miles to Phoenix and Tucson. Lake Havasu now provides water for nearly 15 million people on this side of the river. Very interesting. Respect the lands. Backcountry byways open doors to new experiences. Following a byway can take you back in time. It allows you to glimpse of things you've never seen and provides you with a variety of recreational opportunities. Each byway has exceptional values, whether scenic, recreational, or historical. So very, very nice, very cool. Get into the heart of Parker Dam. Simply follow the signs. You'll learn what is involved in the generation of hydraulic energy. So California Riverside, San Diego, Mexico, Yuma, Gila River, Phoenix, Parker Dam. So we're way up here. San Diego is way over here, and Phoenix is way over here. Awesome, cool now stuff. Go across the dam. Okay. But we need to have the information on the dam. That's I right. That That's cool. right. It's very important. Yes, I like signs. I've always taken pictures of signs and stuff when I'm traveling, so I can remember what the heck it was. Number one, and number two, like it just makes sense, right? why you don't want to waste water and stuff because look how hard it is to actually get water to the 15 million people that it provides water for. If you think about it, it makes you respect, I'm not kidding, you know, the whole process. We're going to get up and we're going to go to the boathouse and we're going to get us our Bloody Mary meal. Okay. It's like $35. Oh my God. It has shrimp and lobster and... Oh. All sorts of stuff. I haven't had one. I've only seen a picture of one. You've never had one? No. Tomorrow's the day. Oh, we got to do We're that. Do it tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Right this line. Okay. Oh, cool. That sounds fun. Bloody Mary meal. Holy cow. Yeah. Lobster and shrimp. It's making me hungry because we've dabbled in food today. Oh. <laughs> John is going to take me to a Greek restaurant tonight, and she said they have saganaki. So hopefully we can get that on film for you. Saganaki is a Greek cheese. And when I was in Greece, I got it everywhere. And I wish I would have videoed more of every place I got Saganaki because it was a little different everywhere, but so good. And it's kind of like you fry it, but then you put lemon on it. So we're almost back into Lake Havasu City here. I think we just entered and we are going to wash her dirty jeep and then change our clothes and then go to dinner okay we are taking a pit stop at the car wash i do love this car wash um i, I do the washing so as you can see the line is busy for those who um don't want to get out but we're gonna have to wait here okay oh, guy that guy's almost done in. don't forget your boots We then went to Nico's Grill and Pub in Lake Havasu City. It was awesome. I am a good critique over Greek food and they did a fantastic job there. I'm Greek, been raised Greek and no good Greek food and I am very impressed with Nico's Grill and Pub.
and take a look. <laughs> we got President Trump dining with us tonight with the live music. Both Joan and I really enjoyed Nico's. The atmosphere was fun, relaxed, and cozy, and there's live music. Since it's a Greek restaurant, I wanted to order the food and drink I would have ordered if I were in Greece. We started with Uzo. And Joan also had a blueberry mojito, which was excellent. The staff was friendly and efficient. And for our appetizer, we ordered saganaki, which is the flaming cheese. I am a taster of saganaki everywhere, I must say. When I was in Greece last year, I ordered it pretty much every single restaurant I went into. And we ate a lot in Greece. At Nikos, Saganaki is right up there with the best I tried in Greece. Definitely a thumbs up. I then had the gyro plate, which was excellent. The meat portion was big and not those thin slices that you get at some knockoff type Greek restaurants. This gyro meat was the real deal. So if you're ever in Lake Havasu, stop into Nico's. You will not go wrong. So we're going to get Saganaki, which is the flaming cheese. Tasty. Good, right? <laughs> it's really good. They have live music and stuff in here, that's kind of cool. <laughs> We got President Trump dining with us tonight for the live music. <laughs> and we're gonna get Saganaki. I will not censor myself to comfort your what? Where is it? To comfort your I will not censor myself to comfort Eric is right in the way. Oh look, they had a sign now because they're at the bunker bar now. So Nico's at the bunker bar. Oh, they have one of them? At the Bunker Bar. They, like I said, they used to cater at the Desert Bar. Oh, okay. Ah. And now they're at the Bunker Bar, which is like way closer. It's That's only 20 off. miles wow. down the road. If even 20 miles. <laughs> I'm going to lose all my channel people. People are going to be mad at you. Some people. We think it's funny. The poor guy got kicked out of office. Like, at least he can have dinner with us, right? <laughs> he needs to go where? He's kind of on the time. Yeah, that's better. Is that better? Like you're blocking him. There. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what would you like? Do you want a shot of it? Yeah, I'm gonna get a glass of um, 
Do you have a glass of Cabernet? Some kind of Cabernet wine? Okay, uh, Cabernet. Yeah. Okay, Thank you. My ear. Not bad. 7766 for all that food and drink. The portions are big. I took it home. The next morning, we were on our way again. So where are we going? Let's go like this so you're better in the light. We're going to the boathouse to get a Bloody Mary. A Bloody Mary. A Bloody Mary. Wait till you see this. Okay, so we are at the boathouse and we are going to go have a, apparently they have a Bloody Mary meal. It's not really a meal, but I just call it a meal. Okay, You'll because see. it has a lot of stuff in it. Yeah. This better be better than our Bloody Mary from yesterday. Mm-hmm, exactly. <laughs> Off we went to the Boathouse Grill, as you can see. Here it is, over the London Bridge, on what they call the island in Lake Havasu. Now this was awesome. I have never had a Bloody Mary even close to this before. <laughs> Do you care if I film you? <laughs> There's your plates to eat. So she mixes this and this. Do you want me to take a picture of each When our when we get our Bloody Marys. Oh, you, did you order those mocktails? Yeah. yeah. Oh dang. That's why they gave you all that? Yes. Yeah. Is it really your full course? I've meal? never I guess I've never had one. I've only seen a picture of it. I'll look and then I'll make my decision. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. yeah. That's what we're getting. Yeah. Oh, fuck. She told me about it, so she's like, I'm taking I don't live here. She does. Try it. Yeah. I'd like we need to go I'll try it. I live here and I haven't tried it. So I'm gonna yeah. leave it to you two. Alright, we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. Now that I see you get like every dipping tray in the world, <laughs> it might be worth it. No, I'm not hungry, thank okay. you. You got it. I know every that's seriously like what? I usually don't. Yeah. Because my my diet. <laughs> yep. This is gonna be not today. today. Not today. With the shrimp yeah. and yeah. the What else? Like, is I don't know. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> we need to understand the like Havasu issue with the blueberries. There's blueberries in the mix over there in the people's mimosas and then they put like blueberry beer here and they like um, blueberries apparently is, is something. Joan's looking it up. She's going to fill you in. Please report on the blueberries when you have a moment. <laughs> So one, one Saturday, one Saturday You can't read it? No, I can't find it, but it just talks about the blueberry beer. He went to the grocery store and he home everything in You gotta do some research, apparently. So because she's beautiful on camera, she's gonna build them so you guys can videotape it. Oh, that's super cool. Thanks. Nice. I'm glad I'm hungry. <laughs> She's gonna build them on camera for me. Or you should be roll. 
Okay, we're gonna give this a whirl and we will get back to you. <laughs> Board, Bloody Mary, lobster tail, tiger prawns, hog wing, and more. There was like salami in there and like cheese. I can't even remember, but it was definitely a meal. And that lobster tail was really good. And they bring you the dipping sauces. And yeah, get a Bloody Mary out of it 22 ounces. Not bad, highly recommend it. And if you want a refill, they're $5, not with the food, but far more drink. Can't beat that. And the staff was amazingly kind and fun, and they had no problem letting me film that. I would definitely go back again and have that again. It's not cheap. Just so you know, it is not cheap. But worth it to try. Okay, so I clearly am like, it's really good. But we still have a long ways to go. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm about done. Oh, okay, so I totally give this the thumbs up on the Bloody Mary. It's so. It is heavy. And it it's filling. <laughs> it's like three meals in one. Alright, so John's gonna go to the bathroom and I'm gonna give you the review. Like I want you to see this though. Like look at our scraps. <laughs> Clearly you don't eat the whole thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I'm so full. Apparently she's getting confused with Lisa. But yeah, this was super cool and we the food was good and we're super cool. So if you come here and you get that Bloody Mary, uh, you actually can just have that. We can probably share it. Share it and get that to share it and then get the refill for your second person and then just share all the food. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you Oh, yeah. That sounds really good. Ask for an extra lobster tail, baby. And we met some really nice people. Got some to the channel. And that win win. So apparently we were kind of dumb and didn't realize. I just put the sign up here that I took a picture of in front of you that 
Um, oh, look at this. It's kind of cool. They got an outdoor area, huh? Cool tables up there and stuff. It's like a garage. Yeah, I've never seen this open. Oh, look at they got right like over now. here. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. What 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 is this? Look at this. Oh my god. I want this car. So who's the race car driver? Clearly someone. So my review is a thumbs up. What do you think, Joan? Definitely thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Just because it was a friendly atmosphere. Fear. That was after the Bloody Mary. Um, friendly atmosphere. Nice people. Good food. Conversation. Um, and super cool cars next door. Yeah. What more did you ask for? But that was fun. And I'm so full. Oh, that's we forgot to go over to the nautical. What's the nautical? Damn it. It's right over there. But what is it? It's a hotel. I, there's some of them are timeshares. Um, there's a restaurant. There's a pool that if you come to visit and you live local, you can get a key for the pool and with the pool. Oh, fun. Yeah. I don't know if it's open with the COVID thing. I don't know if that's open yet. But it was last year. Bar up there. It's like a walk-up bar in the pool. Usually a DJ on the weekends. That's fun. But really fun. So we are walking our humongous Bloody Mary off. Oh.
as you can see, this is kind of the craziness that we hear about Lake Havasu. And it's only March. It's not even crowded yet. So it really was a good time of year to go. And Joan and I took a stroll. All in all, it was a really fast but fun trip and I learned a lot. We got to experience a lot with Joan. Hi. Joan got to have company. I know. And um, it is hot out I would today. totally recommend you come in here. This time of year is actually perfect. I really would. Yeah. In that you're a loco. What do you think? I, um, I wasn't listening, sorry. Would you recommend people coming oh, this definitely. time of year? Oh yeah, definitely. a really fast weekend but it was really fun and there's some really cool places and I totally recommend it for the 40 and above crowd you'll have a lot of fun and you'll probably have some money versus the young people so you can enjoy a lobster in a Bloody Mary no joke and I'll thank Joan for hosting me at her um, bungalow river what would you call it what do you call it what do you call it um my house <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute I'm sorry <laughs> my house <laughs> okay for hosting I don't know. me at her house on a last minute notice at a little escape to um lake havasu arizona i'll be back and i'll bring my friends and you but you can't stay at Jones' house. <laughs> no. Depending on how many of you there are, maybe.